Robbie Thompson, I'm Adam Glass, and welcome to Fandom Talks. Yes, what he said, did it. Hey guys! Welcome to Fandom Talks American Horror Story Freak Show! Oh, oh, oh. Uh, <laughs> we're dolphin calls. Too. My dolphin calls out to me. So, American Horror Story, what the fuck's going on? Everybody's going back shit crazy. Especially, like, Elsa's life is like the thread to her life is just being pulled and her luck is fucking running out. I feel like in this episode, if you compare Dandy and Elsa, they'd be like on the same platform. Good observation! Aww. Oh, that switch though. Do you see it? I see it. What? As the show progresses, this is Elsa, this is Dandy. Dandy was up here and Elsa was the one that was saving everyone. And then it's just kind of going like... Oh, How? He's fucking oh. crazy and he's killing people. Yeah, but he realized it and he accepted it and now he's like, you know what, I'm gonna live out my life killing people. And yeah, and Elsa's like in denial and just like, nope. I shall be a star. Good job, sister! <laughs> I don't think my eyes could have gotten any wider. <laughs> I was like, yeah! It's Elsa's birthday week. And da ho! So ungrateful. What's wrong with her? Like, holy crap. Like, why does she care that Paul is sleeping with someone else? Like, clearly they're not mutually exclusive. Honestly. And it's none of her business, and she didn't deserve to be stabbed. Not just that, but she didn't want him telling anyone about them. So, exactly. Like, hello, hello. We left off the episode with Paul still being alive, but seriously close to death, and everyone, you know, gathering around him and trying to help him. And I think it, it, it's nice to see where everyone's loyalties really truly lie. Because El, even though Elsa's the one who saved them and they're grateful to her, she's acting out and... The thing is, she saved them and then made it seem like they all owe her. Yeah. So they all, they don't feel like a fan. they feel like a family in the sense of we are like each other. But then with Elsa, they feel like we're here because we owe her. Yeah, because remember, she's always saying like the bigger the star, the bigger the tent, and her tent is the biggest, and she's the one who lives the most comfortably. And it's really unfair if you're a family that one person gets all the luxury and everyone else doesn't. Right, sister? Yeah. Speaking about sisters, Bet and Dot are um, living with Dandy, and he's a fucking psycho, and he went through Dot's diary, he and now... Love. How did he even break that thing open? Because I've tried to break open diary locks, and it does not work. He cut through the binding. He didn't, like, unpick it or oh. anything. He's not that... He ain't that smart. Okay. Um, and Dandy managed to fall in love and out of love within one episode. Well, he managed to fall in love and then get heartbroken. Fall in love episode. and be heartbroken. By his def definition of it. Of his course. acting was on point though. Yeah. Like, that yeah. guy is really good. Like, he's frighteningly good. Scary. So scary. So scary. Scary. Flinch sniff. Um, when Miss Mystique. Mystique. <laughs> Wrong, <just> like, <laughs> universe. Mysterious. Esmer Esmeralda. 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 That one. That one. She tried to kill little Mon Petit. Mon Petit. She tried to kill her and it was so sad and I was so glad that she did she it. She was like, I'm a little butterfly. And I was like, yes, you little butterfly. You fly away right now. <laughs> she stayed in there and but she survived. Yeah, and I mean, she was doing it in an attempt to save Jimmy. Which didn't work, and she is so screwed, and I hope her and Jimmy run away. Except that's not gonna happen, because I'm 90% sure that Dandy's gonna kill Jimmy. Me too. Since Jimmy decided to be all curious-like, and knock on Dandy's front door. Yeah, and Dandy went through her entire diary, meaning that she knows all about her crush on oh, Jimmy. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. 
Jimmy Crack Corn, I don't no, care. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say Jimmy Dodgers. Is that what they're called? If you're from the UK or you are more knowledgeable about the UK than I am, let us know in the comments down below. Yeah. We left it off with Jimmy going in search for Bet and Dot at Dandy's house, which is very dangerous. I'm gonna pull up your glasses because I don't have any. <laughs> Ethel told her that, yeah, I'm going to stand by you, and I'm glad to be a part of your family and for you to consider consider me your sister, but if I find out that those, gir that those girls, Bet and Dot, left against their will, I will kill you. So, oh shit, here it comes. I see it happening, but like Phantom of the Opera style, like, here yeah. the hand, the level of, of your eyes. eyes. I feel like it's going to involve that spinning... Thing. Like they're gonna tie her to it and then like have her tied here and then have that pulled up here and then they're just gonna put it. That makes no sense. They're gonna pull it and then it's just gonna be like it's just, it's just gonna be yanked back that way. No, not if they do it really hard. Yes. No. Yes. No. Leave the complicated thinking to me. <laughs> so question of the video guys is do you think Jimmy's gonna die? I think there's only two ways this could go, and it's that either Jimmy's going to die, or he's going to rescue Bet and Dot, and Elsa's going to die. <laughs> so, lots of death here. Yeah, also, my question of the video is, do you think that if Jimmy cracked corn, he would care? <laughs> Isn't it Jimmy cracked corn, but I don't care? Do you think you would care? <laughs> I would care. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out, everybody.